200 grade 10 and 11 learners planned to go on a tour to Durban. Six and a half percent less learners eventually went to Durban. Okay, so let's just get that straight. 200 grade 10 and 11 learners, okay? So it doesn't mean 200 grade 10 and 200 grade 11. It means 200 altogether. Well, at least that's what I think. <laughs> um, it could be misinterpreted, but I, th I definitely think it's 200 altogether, okay? Um, plan to go on a tour to Durban. Six and a half percent less learners eventually went to Durban. What does that even mean? Well, there were 200 learners, right? 200 learners originally, but then that's how many learners were supposed to go. They are the ones who planned. But maybe something happened. Maybe some of them had to go away, or maybe some of them could not afford to go on this trip. There could have been various things that happened, but 6.5% could not make it. Okay, so it says 6.5% less learners. Okay, so it says the first question. Write 6.5% as a simplified common fraction. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to know that 6.5% is the same as 6.5 out of 100. Okay, now because it's only two marks, you could literally go and type this on your calculator now and it will simplify it for you. If you had to do that, you would end up with 13 over 200. Okay, so there is your answer, 13 over 200. Next question, determine the number of learners who went on the tour. Now there's many ways that you could do this one. Um, you could say, let's take this away quickly. So what you could do is you could, the, okay, here's the first option. Um, you could say, what is 6.5% what is of 200, okay? And then remember that of means multiply. If you type this, um, if you type 6.5% in your calculator, then it's actually 0, 0.065 multiplied by 200. Go ahead, calculate that. And that'll be 13. Now those are the people, are they the people that did go on the tour? Or are they the people who cancelled? They are the people who cancelled. It says 6.5% less learners eventually went. Okay, so the, these people could not make it. So how many people actually went on tour? You could say 200, take away 13, and that would be 187 learners. The other way you could have done it is you could have said, okay, if 100% of the learners gave us 200, then if you take away, if you say 100% and you take away 6.5%, well, that'll give you 93.5%. So there's still 93.5% of the learners. So you could say, what is 93.5% of 200? And then if you type this on your calculator with the percentage sign, it'll be 0 0.935, and then multiply that by 200, and that'll give you 187 and it's exactly what we got over there. Okay, this question says, express the number of learners who went and the number of learners who planned as a, oh, so you've got to read this one carefully, as a simplified ratio. So it's not saying the 13 and the 187, that's what your mind, or that's what my mind jumped to automatically, but they said express the number of learners who went on the tour. Okay, so that's 187, and the number of learners who planned, or who, how many planned, 200 planned. There we go. Now, normally we would try to simplify this as far as possible. They even said over here simplified, but you cannot simplify that any further. There is no number that can go into this one and this one at the same time. So we will leave that as our answer. 1872, 200. This question, write down the probability as a percentage of randomly selecting learners who did not go on tour. So remember, probability is always going to be over the total, okay? So we're going to say over, and the total is 200 people. Now, what goes at the top over here? Well, they we got to look at what they want. Write down the probability of selecting learners who did not go, okay? So how many people did not go? That was 13, so you're going to say 13. Now, you could leave it like that if they wanted it as a fraction, but because they want it as a percentage, you're going to multiply by 100, 
and then you're going to get 6.5%. But that shouldn't surprise us because we already had it at 6.5%. That's a bit of a silly question. I don't understand.